Hello beautiful people, this is Tiki from Healthy Living Tiki. I am coming to you today with a new video. What I want to do is my version of Egg Bite. Now I would normally use this cute little container um, to, it's a silicone tray to make my egg bites. It has the perfect shape. And I normally would do it in my um, Instant Pot. But today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to actually make them in this mold. Um, I want to make it easier for me to be able to freeze it later. So uh, this recipe is going to be keto friendly. So some of the ingredients you're going to have to use in moderation. I have the Rotel chilies and tomatoes. I'm just going to use just a little bit of these just to give it a little flavor because I don't want it to send the carb count up. I also have some cooked breakfast sausage that I've already made. Just a few green onions. And I'm going to use six eggs. And I also have my seasoning. I have black pepper, lorries, garlic powder, and adobo. I pretty much put garlic and adobo in everything. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cracking my six eggs in a large bowl. Okay, I've cracked all of the eggs in the container. Now give me just a moment while I wash my hands. I don't like touching eggs in that cooking. Okay, so then I got my hands all nice and washed. Now we can go ahead and mix the eggs. And I'm using my hand mixer because I just don't feel like fighting with the whisk. So I have my hand mixer with the whisk attachment. Now, I'm going to end up mixing my eggs twice because I want to add my seasoning to it. So first I'm going to start with my adobo. And I don't actually measure anything out. I would say it's about a teaspoon of adobo, but I could be wrong. So I always say season to your taste. I use a lot of garlic. This is the garlic. It's just regular old Walmart brand garlic. Um, you will notice that I don't use salt in here. I use the seasoning salt instead. Um, I'm trying to cut back on my sodium intake. <laughs> so I'm going to add my pepper. Alright, and we're going to give it one more whisk. Okay, now I'm all done with that. This was so much easier than trying to do this by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the sink and put my hand mixer away. Now, because I'm using the silicone mold, I am not going to pre-grease this. Um, I'm just going to put everything in it and I'm just going to start building it. And I kind of do everything one step at a time. So, I'm going to start with my sausage. Now, I did cook these yesterday, so they are a little cold, but it's okay. So, I'm using a teaspoon and spooning it into each cup. Oop. Okay, got y'all zoomed in so you can see it a little bit better. And um, I have my oven preheating at 350. I am going to cook these till they're almost done. And the reason behind that is when I get ready to warm them up, they will actually end up cooking all the way through. So I don't want to cook them all the way through now and then when I warm them, they'll end up being overcooked. So I hope that makes sense to you. Oops. Alright, almost done. Now this is an easier version of my crustless quiche. Um, essentially for my crustless quiche is similar to this. Um, and I'll probably make that for you a little later, but this is something that I was like, you know what? I'm about to cook this. Let me go ahead and record it. Okay. Okay, that has a little bit too much meat in it. Put that over there and that right there. All right, so all of my meat is in the 
container. Next, I'm going to put in just a pinch of green onions. And again, my hands are clean. You know, I just washed them. Now, just as a cheat, I actually keep these in the freezer. It makes it easier for me because I don't have to um, cut up green onions every time I need them. And also, it saves my vegetables because I'm notorious for forgetting that I have them and ended up throwing them away. Okay, so I have all my green onions in. Next, I'm going to go into my container of Rotel. It's just in a little Tupperware thing. I don't like to store um, anything in a can just open. And I opened it. I was going to make this the other night, but I didn't. So, we're going to do about a half a teaspoon of the Rotel in each one. And when I say a half a teaspoon, I really mean a half a teaspoon. And now because I want a little bit of the juice, I want to put a little bit of juice in there. But it's just juice. It's not any of the um, tomatoes at this point. Tomatoes or chilies. Add that in. And next up comes the eggs. So I'm just going to put a little bit of egg in each one. And this actually, the reason why I picked this particular bowl is because it does have a little spout for me to be able to pour it. I'm not going to fill it all the way up because this will rise just a little bit in the oven. And I don't know if I said this or not, but I chose the silicone um, molds because I don't have to grease them. They will pop right out. And I also have a smaller version, so if I want to my egg bites to be smaller, I would use that. But I normally use the smaller one to make my um, fat bombs. Okay, so I've emptied that out. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven for about 25 minutes and check on them then and see if they are the right consistency that I want and then I will take them out like I said I'm not going to cook them all the way because I want to be able to cook them all the way through when I warm them up throughout the week and I'm also going to put them in the um, summer freezer so that way I will have something to eat off of so be right back so I have them in the oven I have my cook timer on for 20 minutes they've only been in for about 30 seconds like I said the oven is set to 350 and just gonna let them cook and I'll be right back to show you the final results. Okay, here they go, fresh out of the oven. I did let them cool down for a few minutes. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put them on a parchment line baking tray, put them in the freezer and let them freeze on the baking tray and then take them off of the parchment paper and put them in a Ziploc bag. I find that it's easier to go ahead and let them freeze before you actually try to store them. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So. gonna pop them out I'm gonna put them on my tray and because we use the silicone you see how easy they're just popping out of the mold with no problem And clean up for this is so simple. You see how they just popped out really easy. So I have my water already ready to do my dishes. Like I said, I'm just going to leave them up here, space them out a little bit. So I don't want them touching when I put them in the freezer. Oh, 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze them and store them away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. The information will be, well, it's gonna be the link to the blogs for the full recipe will be down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And I hope to see you on my next episode. Have an awesome day.